Welcome back to the channel and today we are back in Terratech Worlds and things have expanded and I will explain very very soon but uh, I'm very excited to say that this is another sponsored video by Payload Studios. Uh, you guys seem to be enjoying the Terratech content and they seem to be enjoying the sponsored videos so they came back with a third one. So if you're new to if this is your first time seeing Terratech on the channel, uh, this is Terratech Worlds, which is not a sequel to Terratech, but a whole reimagining of Terratech. And we've got all kinds of crazy abilities to build bases. As you can see, like I have right here, I get a base with all kinds of stuff here. Uh, we can build vehicles and we can battle vehicles as well. These vehicles have weapons and things. Um, so if you have seen the previous episode, you're probably wondering why I have such a large base right now. And that is because as part of this sponsored video, I have actually gotten access to a mid to late game save file because everything we've done so far has been pretty much early game stuff. And Payload wanted me to have the opportunity to show off what the mid to late stage stuff is like. So I've essentially been able to, this base was pretty much built as is. And what I want to do in this episode is experiment more with base building now that I have access to some more materials and stuff. And then also this part of the map, you can see off in that direction, there's a whole new biome over there, which is the Arctic biome. And I'm really looking forward to seeing just what that feels like over there. I don't know if there's enemies there yet. I know that the game has been going through some updates. And when I first played, there may not have been enemies there. But we'll go check it out in this episode uh, for sure. But let me show you some of the awesome stuff that we, you get access to when you're progressed through the game a little bit more. And you're in the mid to late stages. Um, obviously, this tech has some wheels that I had never seen before. And there's also a thing a thing that I just got access to at the end of my last um, video, but never actually built it, which is the flatbed. And the flatbed is actually not quite what I thought it was. I thought it was just like a piece that was flat to use as like a flatbed. But if I use my tractor beam, the flatbed actually serves a particular function. So I can bring this in closer with the tractor beam. And then I can activate my flatbed with shift and then I can drop this and the flatbed actually locks in the object. So here, let me bring this in a little bit more. Come on, you get in here too. I don't know if this is going to be like a collision issue here, but let's find out. Let's drop that. Oh no, hold on. Drop. There we go. And you kind of see it like freezes and uh, that is when the flatbed essentially locks it into place. Now you can see even when I'm doing all this crazy driving, and uh, bumping around, they do not fall off. I can deactivate the flatbed, and then now you can see they become loose objects once again. I can pick it up, and then now I can put it in the supply, supply fabricator, just like that. And what if I try to put a second one? I'm assuming this isn't gonna do anything. I'll just put it right there, and I think, is it gonna pick it up automatically? It takes a little bit to process the iron here. There we go, and look at that. I guess if you just drop stuff near the supply fabricator, it'll just pick it up. You can just pile stuff up on it. So these will get you 10 iron. Um, definitely a little bit of a tedious process to bring stuff here rather than just lasering it at the node itself. But let me show you what other kinds of uh, blueprints I have. So you can see the types of text you can design with the later game blocks and parts. So, oh, another cool thing. This didn't exist last time I played. There's a livery, uh, page where you can just pick different color schemes for your vehicles oh this is such a construction one that looks that looks pretty good but of course i'm gonna choose a black and red one i wish they had a red and black where it was like this color red and then the dark black but uh not quite actually gray and black might Re uh, black and red the black is a little bit dark especially since my whole base is kind of dark oh imagine if you could have a base livery that'd be kind of cool too so gray and black actually might work a little bit better or gray and red rather there's still some black on here too so it fits the color scheme but under snapshots here uh so this is the starting little tech that we built at the beginning of the game for early game stuff but now uh this is the one i'm using a modified version of this one i slightly modified it to uh just get a couple of resources in the beginning here but uh you can actually tag them as what type of thing they are so this is like a hauler slash mining vehicle then you have this one which is a combat slash tank and you can see that they actually have different reactor capacities. So I only ever had 100 capacity. This has 160 capacity. And for some reason, this thing is built over capacity, which I don't know what that means necessarily. This, the turtle gunner, which is a combat tank. I don't know why this is like all, you know, over compressed JPEG. 
This has a 100 reactor capacity. Then we got the Blue Basher, which is another combat tank as well. Only 120 capacity. And then the Explorer Supreme, which is 130 capacity. Oh, and uh, one thing to show about this hauler. If I go into my inventory, look at how much cargo this thing can take. I've been looking for this stuff for so long. This thing can carry so much stuff, which is probably why it's the hauler. But let's go and uh, let's go into one of the other ones. Let's try this one that is over capacity, the purple Punisher. Load it in, there we go. So the cool thing about this is, um, so in this is my tech yard spawn point thing here. So if you go into your spawn point and then all of this behind me is tech yard storage. So you have access to your tech yard storage when you're at your tech yard spawn point. And so I have access to a whole bunch of parts that I can use to build a brand new tech, which I also intend to do in this episode. Um, but what the cool thing about that is when it comes to your snapshots, you don't have to have the parts on you. They just have to be in your tech yard. So you can build whatever snapshot you have, um, even if you don't have the parts on you. Because some of these, this is a lot of parts. Look at these wheels. Oh, man. This thing looks cool. All right. What is this? What is that cannon? Look how I got a massive cannon in the middle there. All right. Let's uh, point and shoot. Okay, I don't know what that is. So here's my cab. We've got these things. I don't know what they are. And then this thing is on right click. I must not have the ammo for it. So here, I'm just gonna take it. Oh, this thing, I can't even put it in my inventory. What is this? A DU-120 Aftershock Mounted Rifle. I don't know what kind of ammo this thing takes. I, I, I can't put it back where it was. Yeah, it says this gun needs ammunition. Press right click to fire it. Right, right click isn't doing anything. What are these though? A Sirocco laser. So that has to be some type of like combat thing. That's pretty cool. Oh man, those back wheels look awesome. Oh, this thing turns on a dime too. Oh, this thing's so fast. All right, what kind of ammo does this thing make? Maybe if I have one of these in my inventory, I can look it up. So I can sort my inventory as well. So let's go to weapon. Is this it? Yeah. So uh, it takes that symbol of ammo, the green three bullets. So let's go to our fabricator and let's see what it costs to craft this thing. Oh, I should show you the base, by the way. Let me, there's so many things to show. All right, supply fabricator. Oh, look at the, look at the, this is all different. This looks way fancier. So heavy ammo is what we need. Oh, I'm crafting it already. So this is going to craft me one times how much let's just craft as much as i can right now which is apparently 17 all right i get 10 all right let's just leave that crafting for a while and while that's doing its thing i can show you around the base here obviously really really big base that we got uh there's a launch thing let me see what this needs right now 90 iron i think i have that because these silos are storage silos this one has a bunch of I don't know what conduits are. I assume it like it routes power probably. Um, and also some building trusses and stuff like that. Uh, and then you got this one is full of copper. This one is full of aluminum. And this one is full of iron, which I need. And this cab has like little, very little minimal storage. It's a combat cab, not a storage cab. So now we go over here and this whole launch animation is completely different too. And now for this, you actually have to let it load in all of the items and then you manually press launch. I think in the last time I did this, it just kind of launched automatically and there was this little tiny rocket that came out. Now it's completely different. This meter, I don't know why, like, I, I don't like having to wait for it, but it feels so significant. It just feels like such a, it's like downloading, when the hacker's downloading, like, the data right before they get caught and they're waiting for it to get to 100%. All right, ready? We're gonna press launch. Launch, and look at that rocket. There it goes. All right, man, huge visual improvements of the game. Okay, I have a quest to create a power display, by the way, which is something I've never crafted before. So this is still going. So let's just get some of the ammo so we can test fire this thing. All right, I'm just gonna aim, I don't know, right there. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. That was such a slow bullet too. Here, let's compare the weapons. So this thing, you can see it's damage. That's pretty small for damage. Arc 90 degrees. Oh, 90 degree aiming, I, I'm assuming. A Zeus missile launcher. Reactor load 18. You need missiles, obviously, for that. This takes the same ammo. Area of effect. A meteor turret. So, yeah, there's some really interesting stuff in here. Oh, this is like the same thing, but um, a higher rate of fire than the, the that beginner weapon. All right, I'm, so I got a question. Why is this damage meter? 
why are all of these weapons like i i'm assuming there must be more weapons because if this is the highest damage weapon i have access to right now in mid to late game is there anything that fills up this meter oh it's tracking too <gasps> do you see the tracking icon there there's some crazy stuff so i definitely want to try to build a new tech and then i'm confused what are these laser things that i have are those even i didn't even see those in the in the weapons so on me it's called a sirocco laser oh here it is the damage looks like nothing. Oh, but the rate of fire is all the way. That's see now they now the meter is being used up. That rate of fire meter. They should have DPS ratings so you can actually really get a feel for or get a sense of how much damage it's going to be doing. Okay, now let's get to the other part of the base. Uh, so here's a reason why I want to do some base building too is because there could be some improvements. So here's a cool thing. All the way over there is my power those are my power generators and those are all carbon silos and you can see those are a separate platform i don't know why they're separated but you can see uh these down here these are power pylons so it looks like even though this part of the base is separate from that part of the base you can link the power outputs and uh with these power pylons and i'm assuming that as long as they're close enough they're going to automatically link to each other I haven't actually built a power pylon before, so that's just my assumption. There's also a bridge that some that was built over there. And I think that pretty much sums up my base. We got all the stuff that I've had before, like the refinery and the uh, block fabricator and the supply fabricator and the launch pad. Oh, and even though this is the purple Punisher, I could totally just uh, switch the livery back to what I want it to be. So there we go. Oh, this thing looks so cool. Okay, so one of the things I have to do is craft a power display that lets you see the power status of my base at a glance. So let's see what that's all about. Power display, here we go. So I need refined carbon. I've never made refined carbon before. I do have a bunch of carbon on me, so let's go to the refinery. Here we go, refined carbon one. Oh, that's gonna get me 10. Oh no, that's gonna get me, oh, I'm gonna, make a whole bunch apparently i'm gonna all right well, i only need three all right cancel cancel i need three and my inventory is full now all right you know what before i do this since i'm in this vehicle i just want to test out this weapon let's go do a battle real quick because right now i actually i want to switch over to my large storage vehicle because that makes it easier to manage all these things that you're crafting you know what let's just start off in the arctic i think the arctic is supposed to be kind of hard oh my goodness look how much faster i am ah uh! Oh, oh, wait, 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 I wasn't ready. Hold on, repair, 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 repair. All right, I got three other repair tokens. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness, uh, It's hard to aim the gun. All right, there we go, you're kind of done. Oh, look at that, it's really slow. All right, wh why are my other guns firing? Oh, interesting. So the sideways ones, they don't fire if there's not a line of sight, so I can only kind of do one side at a time. Man, look at the recoil on that gun. I mean, not the recoil, the, um, the pushback. All right, well, look, these guys are dead. But let's, uh, let's adventure over into the Arctic just a little bit. See what's out here. Do these things, like, have resources? That looks like carbon. Oh, no, I'm really slow right now. Whoa! What are those? There's a lot of them. I'm actually kind of a little bit nervous. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't know that was a thing! No! I'm going right over to the enemies! Uh, right myself. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. I'm so- I'm going as fast as I can right now. Alright, alright. Hold on, hold on. What is exploding behind me? Um, excuse me? Does he have the rocket thing? Oh my god, that vehicle that's- Okay, hold on. Repair, 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 repair. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is actually, like, really, really intense. The Arctic is terrible. It's terribly dangerous. It's hard to aim. It's really hard to keep you. No! Ow. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Is my gun gone? My gun's gone. Okay, I got one more repair token. I'm not gonna use it yet, though. I still have that laser on the left side. Dang it! My god. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Wait for a rebuild or respawn. Other players can rebuild your tech. Oh, okay. So if I was um doing multiplayer, another player could come save me. Oh, it gave me my tech back. Wait, it gave me my tech back? Because last time I died, I like respawned back here with like minimal stuff, I think. Or did I just have all the materials to build it again? Is that what happened? Come here, I'm out of heavy ammo already? Okay. Oh, what did I hit? That was crazy. All right, am I really? Oh, I'm out of heavy ammo because 
It's over there. It's in my store. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Okay, is that my stuff? I think that's my stuff. Crate. Take all. All right, now I got ammo, I think. Wait, they repaired? I have 111 left. Oh my goodness. You really gotta watch out for those flowers too. Oh man. Ah! All right, right myself. What am I, who's the guy? What are you doing? You're the guy. You're the guy I want to destroy. There we go. Oh! <laughs> it's so easy to miss them when you're just focused on aiming. Like, I'm just focused so much on my aiming reticle that I don't even see the thing sticking up out of the ground. Oh, my gun's gone. Uh-oh. Uh oh 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you can't repair if you're under fire. This is really, really high difficulty over here. Even with the blueprint. Wow. That was insanity. Look at this thing. All right, let's explore a little bit more over this way. I have one repair token left. Let's uh, make sure that we are careful on using it. I'm just gonna go up this hill and see what's on the other side. Okay, we got plants shooting at us. Oh my goodness, look at those guys. Oh my goodness, we got plants all over the place. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh what are these guys gonna be like? Oh, look at that guy. That guy looks crazy. They're not really shooting me right now though. Get that weapon off. Get that weapon off. Yeah. I don't know if he has any other weapons. Oh, that guy's hurting me. He's got heavy ammo over there. Oh, I think I just... Sh no. Oh, my guns just fell off. Whoa. Oh, it's the plants. It's the... Okay, my tech has been heavily damaged. I'm going to use a respawn point. So, now let's... Uh, I'm going to transition back into... Uh, this guy. I didn't even name it. It's my version of, of this... The, the hauler thing. All right, load. Here we go. Yeah, see, look at all of this storage, but I do not have really any weaponry on this thing. And honestly, for harvesting like this style, it's terrible because it only has a single battery. So one of the things I was thinking, here, let's see. I have um, only 137 out of 160 reactor capacity, so we could totally improve this with some battery potentials. So let's see. So I got eight small batteries in here. All right, where can I fit these? Let's see. I can stick one in there. Stick one over here. Maybe like... One sticking out of the back here and here. Oh, I'm at 209. Whoa, how much are the batteries? Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. Oh, 185 out of 160 already? 161? What? All right, you know, I'm not a big fan of the tractor beam uh, using like the flatbed stuff. So I'm just going to remove the tractor beam. So in lieu of tractor beam, um, maybe I can do some more resource lasers. And then I have three batteries. How quickly is that going to drain my battery? Pretty quick. Do you hear that sound, though? That sound is insane. Let me do that again. All right, ready? Wait, what? Is that really how quick it is? 82%. Dang. This thing is good. Whoa, look at the modifiers on the heavy cab here. Plus four turbo to all blocks. Plus four amplify to all blocks. And then like another set of like plus four turbo amplify, nanobot repair, armor. Whoa. All right, now what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, we had to uh, craft the power thing. Let's see what the power thing's all about. Waiting for inputs. Oh no. Oh no, all of my materials were over there. So this needs three refined carbon. Well, I know where I can get carbon. Let me just... Bloop. All right, so these silos are just full of carbon. So let me just get a handful of carbon and head back on to base. And see, this is one of the reasons I want to do some base building is because, like, there's no easy ramp access from when you go visit your carbon silos. You got to go over here. All right, so I need three refined carbon. Got to do the refinery thing again. So let's go one, two, three. All right, there we go. Easy peasy. And now... We can craft the power display. I feel like it's something we would want to do when we like first visit the base. So I'm going to put it like right here. There we go. So now we can just see it as we come up onto base. It says power use 170 out of 400. 6,000 out of 6,000. Now what does it say? Craft a reserve power cell. A reserve power cell provides an, an additional, en additional energy storage for your base. Okay. Here we go. Reserve power cell. So I need 12 of that. I need nine silicon and six refined copper. I think one of these is a copper storage. Here we go. And then I need silicon as well. Do I have any? 
laying around. Nope. Well, that's what this is for. So is silicon just the regular boulders? Oh, wow. This boulder is tough. So what do we get out of this? Ah, I do get the silicon from the boulders. Okay. I thought the boulders only gave you debris because they do give a ton of debris. Dang, I really got to wait for the power to recharge. Man, I'm overheating too. You can see the temperature meter. If I'm overheated... Wait, what if I go in the water right now? Look at the heat go up. Hmm. Water doesn't seem to be helping. It does look like potentially when I'm overheating that uh, it drains my batteries even more. And that might be because my reactor capacity. So let me reduce one mining laser and let me get rid of this ladder. There we go. 159. Now let's take a look. My heat is normal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. All right. We got our refined copper and now we should be able to craft this thing. Reserve power cell. All right, let's put it in our inventory. Collect and launch refined resources. Oh, is that, was that all that's left? So let, let me place it down then, 100%. Oh, we're storing it right now. So I guess any excess power that we generate at any point in time gets stored in these cells. So then I assume then when we run out of power that the cells then start releasing that power. That's my assumption at least. You can actually see if you zoom in down there, on the left side of that platform that is like the energy generation platform there's a bunch of these power cells sticking out too so maybe i should just go put this let's just go put this over there so you can see it's uh the power is being stored these ones are already at maximum capacity all right let's try some base building now let's actually try to make another type of ramp or something you know what i'm thinking there's these like weird ramp things here but what if we just make one like this side what if i just attach this normally and i just wanted to go down until it hits the ground so what is this a tetra ramp actually there's a workbench down there where i'm gonna be building so let's do that ah <laughs> collision damage is a thing tetra ramp there it is so this takes oh okay i got that i'm gonna build seven of them well i have five right now let's just let's just do see where five gets us go upside down that way that way that way looks like six seven eight nine maybe ten eleven so six more all right one two three four five six. Oh, i'm out of i only had enough for one because i am out of carbon now that's fine that's fine well now i'm gonna partially use the ramp well fully use the partial ramp there we go and then i'm gonna steal a bunch of carbon from my silos all right i think i wanted five more than what i have right now one two three four five all right let's see if this is enough these ramps are actually somewhat costly but a lot of the other basic building stuff is pretty much just like just a little bit of iron and iron's pretty easy to come by is that right right there make sure it's not sticking out right there wait how do i how do i do this there oh look at this there there i need one more i had just enough materials for it too there we go and now if i needed more carbon i could go here get a little bit more carbon and then instead of going all the way back around to the other side i can just drive right up this ramp and almost fall off perfect is that oh that says seven thousand. oh that's energy store i was wondering what that second number was now i know what it is those that power cell that i built I, uh, that added another thousand to the storage. So I now have seven power cells. So that's how much I can store. All right, let me see a little bit about what we have in our storage here. So there's a tools tab and there's Halo Relocator. I don't know what that even is. Let's see what it does. Halo Relocator. Oh, is that what it is? I mean, I have that. I think that's part of this cab. Okay, well, now I know what a Halo Relocator is. It's like our little indicator of where our base is versus our uh, tech death area. Oh, let's put a speedometer on this thing. How fast we go. Oh, look at that. And spotlight. <sighs> Mobile lightning rod. Ooh, that's good for those electricity trees. Right, cosmetics. Okay, the adaptive bumper is a purely a cosmetic thing. Oh, modifiers. So these are frames that can modify the rest of your vehicle. I should build off of one of these frames. Oh, look at the... Okay, so small battery, medium battery. Wow. So these are medium cargos that I have here. Just a wedge panel. 
side panel. So those are just like aesthetic things. Large cargo underneath. Look at that. All right, let's try to build a crazy overpowered attack mech. And the reason why... Whoa, hold on. What are these? Density scanner? Conductivity scanner? Magnetism scanner? Are these for an altimeter? An anemometer? What is an anemometer? Is that wind? Like, judging by those cones, I feel like that's a wind detector thing. An anemometer is a device that measures wind speed. I was right. Okay. So I liked what I was seeing with the missile launcher. So how do I... I'm going to start with a new tech. If I go to like snapshot manager, can I just like... Can I delete this tech? Huh, I never really thought about this, but I don't know how to just like start over with a tech. I'm just gonna click on, uh, I'm gonna load the default tech and we're just gonna start here. So what cab do I wanna use for a combat vehicle? So scout cab doesn't sound like what we're looking for. Centurion cab has 110 reactor capacity, a lot of reactor efficiency. It has plus three to armor. This has 160 reactor capacity, but only 20 reactor efficiency. So what that tells me, there, that energy laser I used, I think that uses battery power instead of like ammo versus, so that would probably be really good for a high efficiency cab. Whereas this one doesn't have a good reactor efficiency, but if you're using bullet based ammo, that doesn't matter. And this has a much higher reactor capacity so you can add more weapons and stuff. Well, I'm gonna go with this one because it has armor and high reactor capacity. All right, I just placed that down, I guess. So now I'm just gonna put this in here. And there's all my, I think that's all my inventory. Oh, this is kind of cool. Where are the wheels going to be though? Or like this. Let me do this for now. All right, that looks pretty cool. Wait, I should be building on a frame. Hold on, hold on. I forgot about this. Let's put all this stuff back for now. Let me get one of these frames out. This is turbo. This is armor plus four. Let's go with armor. Let's focus on propulsion then. What kind of propulsion do we have access to? So we got a bunch of rare ones. Speed three. Whoa. Okay, that one, I want big wheels. Large armored wheel speed three. This one's really fast, but we want, let's get some, let's get a big boy. The high speed ones have very minimal traction. Traction might be better. Oh, this one's a pretty all good all arounder. Let's do spiked wheels because they look cool. Or should we have a combo? Maybe let's have a combo. Hold on. Yeah, like this. Wait, so these wheels are 12. And then this wheel I have is also 12. Oh, I'm like kind of bumping up. This is now, this is a bad efficiency uh, choice because I'm just adding extra wheels for the sake of aesthetics, but that's going to drastically increase the load on the reactor. So let's just stick to what I had. Let's just put a large storage in here just so we can carry some stuff, you know? Hmm. Kind of want to move the cab to the back, actually. Kind of like it's overviewing what we're doing. Artillery weapon mount. I feel like that's what we want. Let's put that right in the middle. Go to weapon weaponry and the Zeus missile launcher. Should I do two of them? I'm gonna do two of them. Let's have a light, some light ammo weapons as well. All right, let's go with a couple of these and do one there and one there. That actually looks pretty good. All right, now let's try some armor. All right, those look kind of cool. Could also add one of those to the side here and then also to the back. Oh no, I'm already at 160. I can't even do this. Dang, the reactor stuff, that stuff adds up so quick. Edge shield protector. Let me see real quick. Shield protector. Oh, interesting. Okay. That actually might be better than some of what I was doing. Well, I went a little bit too ambitious with this thing, apparently, because I cannot fit what I want to fit on here. All right, I mean, this thing, at least from the front, looks pretty cool. Too bad I have a bunch of empty space back here, but let's... Let's not worry about that. Let's see what it takes to craft missiles. Missile ammo. Refined iron, silicon, and carbon. Dang. I'm only gonna have like one missile. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get silicon? Well, the good news is I got a bunch of uh, carbon. All right, so let me save this snapshot. This is definitely like a combat tank, scrap tank. All right, now I just need to get some silicone. So let's switch to the harvesting one. Well, this is an interesting area I haven't been before. Tantalite. What is tantalite? Apparently I'm allergic to tantalite. What is tantalite though? I'm afraid of these plants. What'd you get? What did I 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 get? Tantalite, tantalite. Tantalum. Okay. These plants seem not very hostile, but I don't think this is where I want to be. What is this stuff? Ah, ah, there's bombs. Oh no, and now the plants are shooting at me. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is, uh, 
I, I, I got a false sense of security. I thought for some reason that they were just like not programmed to, um, to fight back yet. So I was like, oh, I'm safe here. So this must be the swamp. Cause I know that the Arctic and the swamp are two biomes I hadn't been to before. And now here I am. Oh no. All right, ready, ready, ready. Take all. That was my silicone. Oh no. What do I have? I have most of the stuff, right? I got the silicone. That's the important one. All right, I repaired. Let's just go this way. All right, I know it's not enough but I've got seven silicone right now and I am running out of time. So let's head back and just craft what we can with the seven. I think I'm only gonna be able to make two missiles. Oh, I had 12? Oh, I'm gonna have more than I expected. I'm gonna have four bullets. Wow. Whoa, it takes a minute, a full minute to craft one rocket. Maybe it's 10 rockets. That'd be great if it was 10 rockets actually. Is it 10, it better be 10 rockets. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Five rockets. Better than three, so I'll have 20 rockets. Okay, still exciting. Is this the vehicle I built? Yeah, this is the vehicle I built. It looks so bad. Now let me make sure that I can distinguish what weapons and equipment get used. So left click will be machine gun fire. Right click will be missile launchers. Let's take out this little, this little dinky one. I'm just gonna fire one missile. I need to see how these missiles even aim. I don't know how they aim. Wait. Okay. That is pretty cool. All right, this is the big finale here. I'm gonna go into the Arctic and I'm gonna battle my way until I can't battle no more and eventually die. I wanna avoid these guys down here. I wanna get up there as far as possible. All right, so the issue up here wasn't just the enemy techs. It was also the plants. I'm gonna try to just, I'm gonna try to just blast past these ones. Am I taking damage? Here we go. Here we go. Let's just go. Let's just go. No, no, no. You leave me alone. We're just going. Oh my, look at the ice. I'm freezing. Oh no. Am I like gonna take damage? Am I taking damage? All right, here we go. Oh yes. That was great. Don't stop. If you stop, you're gonna die. Oh, uh, hold on, repair. There we go. <laughs> here, no. This repair is not complete. You are lies. That is a sentence of lies. I don't have my things. Repair. Ah. Uh, oh. That did not last long. Look at this place. Why would you want to come here? You know some part in the late game. Like, look at these uh, ice, like, glacier things over here. You can probably harvest some really unique material from these. This place is just a nightmare. Well, if you guys watch this video, uh, I think... Terratech has come out in early access on March 22nd. So please show some love to Payload for sponsoring this video by clicking the link down in the description below if you're interested in the game and uh, get it from there. If you'd like to see more Terratech worlds going forward on the channel, let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments below. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.